Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on drawing straight line graphs, also known as y equals mx plus c. Right, so let's have a look at a question. This question says, plot the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. And it gives us a table that we can fill in, and it gives us a graph for us to draw it on. So, whenever we are drawing a graph from a table, I think the easiest way to do it is to start filling it in from the right hand side. Start filling it in from this side. It just means you're probably less likely to make a mistake. So what this means is we're going to put the number 3 into our formula. So at the minute the formula is y equals 2x plus 3 and I'm going to put the number 3 into that formula. So it's going to be 2 times 3 plus 3 well, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So this number here will be 9. We're then going to do the same for the next one along. So I'm going to put the number 2 into my formula. So I'm going to put the number 2 into this formula. So that's going to be 2 lots of 2 plus 3. Well, 2 lots of 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7. So we're going to put the number 7 in this one here. And we're going to continue this. We're going to do the next number. We're going to put the number 1 into the formula. So this will be 2 lots of 1 plus 3. Well, 2 lots of 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. So we'll put 5 into this box here. Now, once we've done three numbers, um, we can notice that this... These numbers here, they're going down in twos. Each time they're going down in twos. So uh, we can just keep going in that pattern now. They're going down in twos. So the next number, this number here, would be go down in twos. It will be three. Then it will be one. Then it will be minus one. Because once you've worked out the first three numbers, the rest of them you can fill in using the pattern. It just makes it a bit quicker to work out. Right, so now we've filled in the table, what we're going to do is we're going to plot all of those points onto our graph here, and we'll have it all done. So, the first one we're going to plot, 3, 9. So the x coordinate is 3, the y coordinate is 9. So we're going to go across to 3, we're going to go up to 9, and I'm going to put a cross there. The next coordinate is 2, 7. So we're going to go across to 2, up to 7, put a cross there. The next coordinate is 1, 5. We're going to go across to 1, up to 5, and there's our coordinate. The next coordinate, sometimes people get a bit confused on this one, 0, 3. This means 0 across, so you stay where you are, and 3 up. So it's just on the line there. Next one, minus 1, 1. Well, that means minus 1 across, which is here, and 1 up, which is there. And the final one that we're going to plot is minus 2 minus 1. Well, that means minus 2 across and minus 1, which is down 1, which is there. So what you can see there is all of my crosses are going to be in a straight line. That's how it should be, because when I join those crosses up, the line will go perfectly through all of them. So there you have it. I've drawn the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. Right, let's have a go at one more question now, because I think if you see me do another example, hopefully you'll fully understand it. So, same sort of question. The question's asking me to plot the graph of y equals 3x minus 1. It's given me a table to fill in, and it's given me a graph to draw it on. So, as I said earlier, I think it's easiest if you start this side when you're filling in a table of values. So, first one we're going to put in, we're going to put the number 3 into my formula. Well, this time, my formula is 3x minus 1. So, I'm going to put the number 3 into this formula. So, we're going to go 3 times 3, take away 1. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, take away 1 equals 8. So, the number that goes underneath the 3 is 8. Now, we're going to put the number 2 into my graph, into my formula. So this is 3 times 2, take away 1. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, 
takeaway one is five. So five goes here in the graph, in the table, sorry. Next number we're putting in is one. Three lots of one, take away one. Well, three times one is three. Take away one is two. So two's gonna go here. And then like we did in the last one, um, once I've done three numbers, I can sort of see the pattern. This one's going down in threes. So I can keep that pattern going and just keep going down in threes to fill out the rest of these numbers. So two take away three is minus one. Take away three again is minus four. Take away three again is minus seven. Right, so I've filled out my table. I'm gonna get marked for that. And then all I've gotta do is put these points onto my axes here and draw the graph. So first one I'm gonna draw is three, eight. Well, this means three across, and eight up, so I'll put a cross there. Next one, five, two. Well, this one means two, sorry, it's two, five. It means two across, five up, which is there. Next one, one, two. Well, that means one across and two up. Put a cross there. Next one, zero, minus one. Well, this means zero across, so stay where we are, and minus one down, which is there. Next one, minus one, minus four. Well, that's one across this way, because it's minus, and down four, which is here. And then the last one I've got to do, minus two, minus seven. Well, it's two across this way, and seven down. Right, so I've done all of my crosses, so now all I need to do is join them up with a straight line. And hopefully the straight line will go through all of the crosses, which means I've done it right. So let's have a look now. So yeah, when I do that, it goes through all of the crosses, so you've done it right. So this is how you draw a graph from a table. The table could have different numbers at the top. Uh, I've just used this as an example today. So uh, the question could be a bit different with different numbers in the table, but you just still use the exact same method. So let's get you to have a go at one now. Here's a question for you to try. Plot the graph of y equals 2x minus 1. So you need to fill in the table and draw the graph. I'm going to pause the video a moment. So if you want to have a go at this, pause the video and then I'll bring up the answers. Right, so I'm going to bring up the answers now. So did you get it right? You can have a look now. <laughs> 